Hello, today we're going to have a go at drawing a dragon's eye and it looks difficult but it isn't. I'm going to show it to you quite clearly in stages. You can stop this and go and fetch the things that you need but you'll need a CD um, and a pencil and a rubber and some coloured pencils if you've got them and if you've got the watercolour pencils that would be fantastic. Some water and a paintbrush. That's quite a big one, maybe a smaller one if you've got one would be great. And if you've got some oil pastels that would be fantastic too. You can use watercolours if you've got those. So just, it doesn't matter what you've got, just coloured pencils is fine if that's all that you've got. To start with, put your CD or DVD in the middle of your A4 piece of paper and carefully draw around it, or you can use um, anything else that's round that you've got around the house. Just draw carefully around it to make a circle. That's it. Then you're going to actually draw the shape of the eye around the circle, and this is a sort of teardrop shape. So it's slightly curved over the top of the circle like this, the corner, and then you draw the bottom of the eye. So quite close to the iris on our dragon, with quite a long, um, a long bit in, in the corner, which is where the, the tears go. Then I'm going to draw an eyelid over the top. And with the dragon, you're going to have several sort of layers of lines around the eyes. Coming around the eyes, which you're, in a minute you're going to draw the scales onto. So you want a few lines just going round the eyes, sweeping round from each corner to the other corner. So just rub out any lines that you don't need anymore. Find the middle of the of the iris and then because dragons are sort of based on reptiles we're going to do quite a quite a sort of reptilian eye a bit like a snake eye really so that's not a round shape like a mammal but a long a long shape a long oval then draw some little circles which are going to be your highlights on on the iris and the pupil in the middle and some in the corner of the eye as well. You're just going to leave those white, you're not going to paint those in at all. So just strengthening up some of those lines there and adding an, a little bit of an inner eyelid there. Add some lines into the inner eye now, just curving inwards. Then you're going to start putting some scales on the top eyelid and those are just very curved lines and they curve back into the crease on the eyelid. So just make them quite curved to suggest the sort of roundness of that crease around the eye and to make the dragon look lovely and scaly. So the curves are going the other way now. And you put these little curves all the way round, round the eye. So it's up to you how many, how many scales you want to put in. You don't have to put the same as me, you can put more scales. You could really fill your page up with scales if you like. Now on the next layer, you can make the scales a bit longer and more rectangular if you like. As if the scales on the dragon are getting bigger further away from the eye. Just drawing them in. Getting the basics of the drawing done before we paint it. And building up to some really big scales at the top here. Getting bigger and bigger the further they go away from the eye. Curving away. Right, 
now once you've done that you are going to start now to colour in the colourful bit which is the iris so we're going to go for a really fiery dragon's eye starting with yellow and working outwards from the pupil in the middle so it's got to come out from the middle towards the outside and then working over the top blending some orange coloured pencil over the top blending it in with the yellow and emphasising with the darker tones the outside and the inside leaving the middle much lighter and leaving those white areas to show reflection in the dragon's eye so let those lines radiate from the middle and from the outside long lines to make it look more eye-like so you can work up with darker purples if you like around the outside to give a to give a really layered effect and keep working over the top with your yellows to make it nice and nice and bright and fiery and here I've just got a little bit of water if you've got watercolour pencils you can just blend the colours together a little bit here or you could work over the top with some watercolours if you've got some watercolours at home and here I've just put a bit of shadow on the top of the eye using a bit of a blue or purple pencil. Now I'm using my black pencil and leaving those white bits to show the reflection. This is a black watercolour pencil and here you could use anything you've got at home. You could use a, a felt tip pen if you like or some black watercolour. Right now I'm using a little bit of wax or oil pastel here to go into the over the lines that you've drawn to emphasize those scales so you can use an oil pastel or a wax crayon there just going over those lines to give to give that lovely scaly texture of the dragon all the way around his eye there and I've done it with colored pencils as well in case you haven't got any oil pastels or wax crayons at home and then I've just mixed up a wash of green, a thinner wash of green, and I've gone over the top for the dragon's skin. And so what you've got there is you've got the oil pastels resisting the watercolour and it makes it really textured. Right, now because we don't want this eye to look too human, we're going to make it black and dragon-like. So we're going to colour in around the eye now with our black pencil, whatever it is you've got at home. And then I've just used a bit of water on a brush and that blends together to make a kind of watercolour. And there we finished our lovely...